Hi, everybody. I'm gay. What up? Yellow Call of Duty. MLG athletes. It's number one. Alpha male. Call of Duty. MLG athlete. Otherwise known as Big Daddy. Eight thoughts. How you all doing, everybody? Welcome to another amazing take two. Another piece of Black Ops 4 video. Hope you are all doing fantastic. And ladies and gentlemen, oh my god, the end is near. Well, well, no, no, no. It's been over. It's been near for yours truly eight thoughts for some time now. But officially, Black Ops 4 is about to take a long walk off a short pier. <laughs> the dad joke. <laughs> dad joke. <laughs> Quite frankly, it's about time that all of us collectively get to finally say it, Black Ops 4 can go f off. Because ladies and gentlemen, in two days, in two days, Call of Duty, Modern Warfare 2019 is having its first beta with the PlayStation 4. And to say that I'm super duper cooper excited, <laughs> I'm more excited than the time I found a website with my best friend Brock and won $6,000. Boom, boom, boom. But ladies and gentlemen, what can we say about Black Ops 4 that hasn't been said already? I'd like to say it's been fun. I'd like to say it's been enjoyable. Well, the only aspect I can actually say that's been fun and enjoyable is maybe the first few hours I played Black Ops 4 before I realized the amount of bullshit and dumb stuff and trash that this game actually was. I mean, it wasn't all bad, ladies and gentlemen. There were some good points to it. I mean, the times that I, you know what, spent $500 to get some COD points to unlock a pay-to-win ballistic knife. That was a really high watermark of Call of Duty that I don't think will ever be attained again. Or the time, the time when I was playing Call of Duty Black Ops 4 and I was running around, I was almost on a nuclear streak. I was like two kills away and I came around the corner and some black dude with dreads threw out his little electrocutional Roomba vacuum cleaner and whoop, came across the map and <laughs> zapped me. I got killed, dropped dead faster than Drifter's testosterone and ruined my nuclear streak. That was also a really high watermark that I don't think will be attained by future Call of Duties. But as I said, it wasn't all bad. Blackout is okay. Blackout isn't that bad. Blackout, as far as the very first Call of Duty Battle Royale, was pretty good. But if I were to actually say the truth about Black Ops 4, I mean, I would rank it up there as one of the worst Call of Duties of all time with some of the most horrible kill streaks, some of the dumbest perks in the game, some of the dumbest specialists I've ever seen in my life, some of the most annoying things in my entire life, the worst microtransaction system in any Call of Duty ever, and the most post-launch content ever pretty much just meant Recycled Ops 4. I mean, we had every gun in the past brought back, with all the maps were recycled, the maps weren't even basically new, the new maps to them were just basically turning down the saturation or turning up the brightness and calling it a daytime or nighttime map. Oh, let's not also forget that Sandstorm map, Sandstorm, Darut Sandstorm map, that was a lot of fun. I like running around with sand blast in my face, I can't see nothing, and dudes with LMG, you know, target finder, infrared scopes, just high Hiding at the back of the map, head glitching with their FMJ1 and FMJ2, ready to smoke you or any kill streak you happen to call down, which requires no skill in any way whatsoever to take down. The hits for Call of Duty Black Ops 4 to make it the worst Call of Duty ever just keep coming. It's sort of like herpes. You know, you think you got rid of it, you think it's gone, but nope, ladies and gentlemen, it's incurable and it just keeps coming back. And quite frankly, that's what Black Ops 4 is. It's herpes. But one thing I did find surprising during David Vondahar's, you know, freak out on Twitter, if you don't know, David Vondahar, like, quit, said he got fired, said he was let go, said he stepped away, and then went on, like, some rants on Twitter, and was talking all kinds of mad <laughs> and then after, the, you know, that, he came back on Twitter, and shut his Twitter down, and then erased all his tweets, and all the tweets that you're seeing on the screen here, he erased, and then he talked also about how he had nothing to do with Call of Duty multiplayer since Black Ops 2, so he's trying to say that Black Ops 3 wasn't his iteration of creativity, Black Ops 4 had nothing to do with him and like you know my question was then what the f was he doing the whole time while working at Treyarch like what is the guy out there doing if he isn't help making Call of Duty for Black Ops 3 what was the guy's actual like job because Black Ops 3 didn't have a you know battle royale so it only had multiplayer and campaign and zombies Black Ops 4 he did blackout that was pretty much what he focused on so what was he doing the whole time then if he didn't make Black Ops 4 multiplayer and Black Ops 3 multiplayer in my opinion probably because Black Ops 4 sucks so bad he didn't want anything to do with it so he just pretended like he actually had nothing to do with it, it was like yeah I, I didn't I didn't, I didn't make that game. I have nothing to do with Call of Duty Black Ops 4. Yeah, 
no, no, it was those other morons at the studio. You know what I'm saying? Those guys. Yeah, it's all their fault. The Donald Trump sucks. Uh, I quit. Call of Duty. Pfft. The only thing David Monahar seems to have been doing since Black Ops 3 is sucking off all the eSport MLG dorks. So they're freaking deep throat and optic hex. And quite frank, I think this might be the first Call of Duty in the history of Call of Duty that, you know, when the next Call of Duty launches, which is Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2019. Uh, I can probably say with most certainty that this will be the first year that when that game comes out, that people are going to be like, you know what? Call of Duty Black Ops 4 was the bad of the game after all. You know what I'm saying, guys? Call of Duty Black Ops 4 was pretty good. It was like, no one out here is going to be saying that except Korean scammer. I really miss playing Black Ops 4. Hey, guys, have you guys checked out my GoFundMe yet? Hey, have you guys checked out my GoFundMe, guys? Hey, check out my new Corvette and my really nice house. But hey, could you all donate to my GoFundMe to help my sick dad? Oh, and you, I'll, I'll refund all your money. I'll refund all your money. I've refunded about six people so far. Those are his words, by the way. Anyways, getting off on, on a random topic. Well, not really random. We're both talking about things that suck. And quite frankly, Black Ops 4 and Green Savage are both in head. So, fair play, right? It's kind of similar things. I, I'd have to say this is probably the last Black Ops 4 video I'm ever going to make. Not that I really have been making a lot, except just to make fun of it and trash it and just make fun of the community who, who supports the game. And you know what, man? I don't know. Hopefully Modern Warfare 2019 isn't some uh, piece of junk and isn't ruined by the community and the sweats and the COD esports wannabe freaking losers and all that kind of stuff. I hope the game remains fun. I hope Infinity Ward doesn't in any way whatsoever just like ruin it and just like they, they said they're not going to. They said they're going to focus on fun and not overbalancing, microbalancing everything. Unlike David COD esports, MLG fanboy, fangirl, fan thing, Vondahar is, you know, or has been. So. Optimistic for Call of Duty Bottom Warfare and very happy to say goodbye to Black Ops 4 because in my opinion, worst Call of Duties of all time, uh, Black Ops 4, uh, Black Ops 4, and uh, top three Black Ops 4, probably the top three worst Call of Duties of all time. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's pretty much all I've got to say. I hope you enjoyed the video. My name is Ocho. Ben Semientos, thanks very much for watching. If you're new here and you haven't done so already, you probably got Down Syndrome and can't even figure out how to do it. But hey, hit that subscribe button if you can figure out how to do that and you haven't done so yet. Also, do me a favor. If you support the video, like the video, hit that like button. If you didn't like the video, well, f hit the dislike button. Don't matter to me. And last but not least, you all. Stay black! You know what the Honkrecker from him shakes? You're going to be the Hardman Kim Shields, now there's all the towers in the beef, moon gorge, colors, the flat, and that space. I'll do it the belly. Explore it for the boss game! White man, bring it down. Oh, Black Ops 4 sucks, good dog.